Fort Myers stores. By medical negligence, Kevin filed a lawsuit. For more information. Live, the news you count on. NBC2, News at Noon. Topping your news at noon, the countdown is on. In just seconds, NBC2 will flip the switch for good. NBC2's Michelle Berto is standing by live to answer all of your questions about the digital transition. But first, Craig Wolf is live in our master control with our executive vice president and general manager, Steve Conius. It's a big day for us, Craig. Hi, uh, Nancy. Uh, good afternoon to you. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are making history right now in the NBC2 Master Control. We have been broadcasting our analog or antenna signal for more than 40 years here at NBC2, but that is about to come to an end. Matthew Gage is our engineer. You've been hearing about this for a long time. We've been telling you about it for a long time. We've done the testing. Uh, we've warned you about it. And now Matthew Gage, our engineer, is going to historically pull the switch on our analog or antenna signal that, again, we've been operating for more than 40 Four decades. Matthew, take it away in three, two, and one. Now, the vast majority of you are ready for the uh, switchover. If you have cable or satellite or a newer TV, you are good to go. There's a small percentage of you that are being affected by this. I don't want to be the first person to trip and fall on my face on live TV. I'm Mike DeSerio from the National Association of Broadcasters. From now on, this television station is no longer running regular. For more than 50 years, Wink News broadcast the same analog signal to Southwest Florida homes, but now we're making the switch to digital TV for good. Mike Walter joins us live from our transmitter, where our engineer is standing by to flip the switch. Good afternoon, Mike. Well, good afternoon, Lindsay, and right you are. I'm at the transmitter site in Charlotte County, where Wink TV has been broadcasting uh, analog signals uh, to Southwest Florida for nearly 55 years. We were the first on air to telecast in the uh, Fort Myers, Naples, Port Charlotte area. March 18th, 1954, analog transmitters have been sending out our signal. Transmitters like this one, which will be going out of service in just a few minutes. A historic day for broadcasting after 54 years and 11 months of analog broadcasting. Wink TV going to the digital only era of telecasting in just a couple of minutes. With me right now is the chief engineer for Wink TV, uh, Keith Stuhlman. Keith, you've been in this business longer than I have. What does this day mean to you? Well, it's kind of nostalgic, actually. I mean, this technology that we have here with the analog transmitters is the thing that we learned when we got into TV. And though we have, you know, progressed onto the digital with the high definition, which is exciting, it, it still, this is very nostalgic, you know, to hit the off button and say, wow, you know, this isn't going to come on again. It's done. After today, it's a dinosaur. After, after today, uh, we have to figure out what we're going to do with all this electronics. Yeah, all right. Let me talk now with Ed Clark, who has uh, been here for 35 years. Right. You installed these trends. Yes, I did. Uh, uh,